let's take a look at the concept of hostile work environment in harassment from an employment law perspective. Most often, harassment does not directly alter employment status. Instead, it imposes inferior working conditions that make it harder for an employee to perform well or remain on the job. A hostile work environment can result from a wide range of verbal conduct, physical conduct, and displays of images. Examples of behaviors that may constitute a hostile work environment include insults, jokes, profanities, pictures, emails, pornography, requests for sexual favors, touching, exposure, staring, stalking, sexual assault, and rape. Hostile environments can be created not just by managers and supervisors, but also by coworkers and third parties like customers and clients. Although sexual harassment claims frequently entail words, conduct, or images of a blatantly sexual nature, it's important to realize that sexual harassment can take other non-explicit sexual forms. The key issue is whether an employee is subjected to unwelcome, offensive treatment because of his or her sex there need not be sexual conduct involved. In one example, a sexual harassment claim was successful even though unrelated to sexual conduct, when the employee was able to show a hostile work environment. She had evidence that her supervisor frequently stood at her desk and stared angrily at her, startled her by pounding on her desk with his fist, criticized her work unfairly, and yelled at her in front of coworkers. Likewise, two years of making repeated comments about the type of underwear being worn by female employees, throwing her food away, and removing items from her desk were sufficient to state a claim of sexual harassment. The court observed that there is no legal requirement that hostile acts be overtly sex or gender-specific in content, whether marked by language, by sex, or gender stereotypes, or by sexual overtures. Similarly, although crude racial stereotypes are typical components of racial harassment claims, a builder subjected African-American sales representatives to a racially hostile environment based on work assignment. Job assignments are not typically regarded as adverse employment actions that can be challenged in discrimination claims, but in this case, they were assigned, based on their race, to high crime areas without adequate security. The inferior working conditions were sufficiently severe or pervasive to constitute a hostile environment.